What's up guys? Welcome back to Island Gentry. Today we're talking about how to polish your dress shoes. Now you're gonna to wanna to find an area where you can do this and it's okay if you make a little bit of a mess. I've got an old beat up table here. I really don't care if, you know, it gets even more beat up. Now, maybe you wanna put like an old towel down on the floor or an old rag so you don't get polish and everything everywhere. That's ideal. All right, so the tools you're gonna to wanna to use are two microfiber towels or cloths. Then you're gonna need a cleaner and conditioner, a shoe polish brush. Shoe polish, obviously, this is um, this is Kiwi shoe polish. It's a brown, obviously, to go with the color of the shoes. If you have black shoes, you wanna use black shoe polish. I like to top it off with an Express Shine. Now, you can use, you know, just the Express Shine, just if you're really in a rush, but I like to do my shoes the right way. We all know how important, you know, well-polished dress shoe is, you know, particularly if you're in a business setting, you don't want to be walking around with shoes that are all scuffed up and dirty. So it's really important to send the right message, take care of your shoes. It shows that you take care of yourself. Okay. So today we are using a pair of medium dark brown, uh, cap toe derbies. Now you can see it's scuffed up here. got some dirt on it. So they're not that dirty, but they really do need a good polish and you will see the difference afterwards. To start off, what you're gonna wanna do, I personally, if there's like a surface layer of dust or dirt, I just like to <laughs> blow it off because if I come in with the cloth and start wiping, the dirt and grime that's just kinda sitting on the surface might actually scratch up and create more like scuffs, so I'd rather avoid that. So I just take the cloth and gently brush the whole shoe, not the bottom obviously, but the whole shoe. Brush it off. And then we're ready to condition it. What you can do is take that cloth that you just used to brush, fold it inside out. Take your cleaner conditioner, apply about maybe a a dime or a nickel size amount of cleaner, conditioner, and get in there and scrub away. Even scrub at the, the, the sole part and the top. Mm, it smells nice. Now if you need to apply more cleaner, conditioner, if your shoes are really dirty, once you've cleaned and conditioned the shoe, what you're gonna now do is apply a layer of shoe polish. Now, if you've got scuffs, you can use the scuff cover, which helps to fill in, you know, any scuffs that you might have. I might use it on this shoe here, but this shoe doesn't really have that many scuffs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the shoe polish. Use that rag that you use to wipe off the shoe and can clean and condition it inside out. Get a clean side and start to apply a layer of polish. Okay, that's uh, the shoe with shoe polish applied. Now, what I like to do is just set this one aside and start with the next shoe. What I'm gonna do is just apply the scuff cover to the front of the shoe where that scuff was. You're gonna wanna wear an old, I got on an old ratty white undershirt here. You're gonna wanna wear clothes that you don't really care if they get dirty. Now this stuff kinda stinks a little, so you're gonna wanna make sure 
you have some ventilation in the room. Otherwise, you might start getting high. Maybe you like that. Okay, that's the second shoe. Shoe polish applied. I'll come back to the first shoe that you applied. And now is time to start polishing. So what you want to do is get a nice shoe polish brush. It would be ideal if you used a different brush for different color shoes. A brush for your black shoes and then a brush for your brown shoes. That way, if anything gets on the bristles, that you don't apply it to a different color shoe. You want to get in there, just stick your hand inside the shoe like that. And just brush aggressively. Now, you can take the laces out and um, polish all underneath and in between. That's like a really thorough shoe shine, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna keep the laces in. Okay, now that you're done with that, take your clean cloth that you haven't used. This is where you add another layer of buffing. It's like a buffing. All right, so that is a polished dress shoe. Now what I like to do is take the Express Shine sponge and actually apply it over the polish. This is gonna help seal in the polish and it's also gonna add like a layer on top just to help protect. Plus, it also helps to shine the shoe even more. Bang, bang. Well done, what do you think? Nice, right? I love this, the color of this shoe. It's just really elegant. Okay, now that that one's done, I'm just gonna finish up this other shoe and wrap up this video. This is the final look at the second shoe, fully polished. Remember that scuff that we had here? You can still see it a little, but it's not as bad as it was before. Now that's because I used that scuff cover be sure to take care of your shoes, guys. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're polishing them on a regular basis, maybe once every couple of weeks, depending on how often you wear them. But if you polish your shoes on a regular basis, this will help the shoes to last longer, help the leather to last longer, and just makes you look a lot more professional, a lot more put together. But I'm actually interested in hearing from you guys. What other tips or tricks or tools that you might use to polish your shoes. If you found this video useful guys, don't forget to drop me a like. Until next time, make sure your image and your shoes stay polished. <laughs>